What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Justin Colby and on this video, we are gonna talk about the best strategy to get started in real estate. Now this isn't just for beginners, so if you are a veteran and you're watching this video, make sure you stay tuned because not only am I gonna show you what the best strategy is to get started in real estate, I'm gonna show you exactly how that one strategy will help you build wealth also. Stay tuned. What's up guys, I am Justin Colby and welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, understand one thing. I go all over business, real estate, and entrepreneurship right here on this channel. I also drop three videos a week. So if you would do me a favor, first and foremost, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know when those three videos drop. Now that you've done that, let's jump into this video. And again, this is not just for the newbies. This also is for veteran real estate investors because I'm gonna show you how I personally am taking this one strategy and leveraging that into building wealth through rentals. All right, so here's the obvious. Most of you have seen some sort of show about flip this house, flip this, flip that, rehab this, create whatever those names are. You've seen those shows. Now, while I myself have rehab flipped well over 600 properties in the last 14 years, I can tell you it is not my number one way to get into real estate investing. I have coached thousands of students over the years and some of the biggest questions they have is about where to find money. How do I find money to flip these properties? How do I raise money? Where are hard money lenders? What is a hard money lender? On and on and on about money. And so the, for that reason, I would tell most people that rehabbing homes is not the best way to get into the industry. Now, with that said, it is actually how I got into the industry. I actually started by rehab flipping, but I'm gonna advise you to do something else. I'm gonna advise you to become a wholesaler first. Now, wholesaling real estate is very, very simple in terms of the strategy. You simply need to find a motivated seller and combine that motivated seller and find a cash buyer. Now that cash buyer might be using hard money, but one thing they for sure are not doing is they are not getting money from a bank. They're either coming in cash or leveraging hard money to buy that property. Now, you simply are the middleman in this transaction and you collect an assignment fee by assigning your contract over to your buyer. It is the best way to get started. And the reality is it becomes a marketing and sales business. Now you don't need a big marketing budget to get going in wholesaling real estate. You actually can do it for free just like I do. I do 10 to 20 deals a month that I don't have to spend a single dollar marketing. Now there's a whole strategy behind that and I can teach you the strategy if you want to learn it. You can just go to thescienceofflipping.com and fill out a simple form. That form will lead you to some of my success advisors and they will talk to you about the strategy and answer any questions you have and to see if I can help you get started in real estate or even start scaling your business and get consistent deal flow. Wholesaling is all about marketing and sales. So it's about getting in front of the right homeowners who have motivation to sell. Here's the key to becoming a successful real estate investor. Add value to every scenario. As a wholesaler, I need to add value to the homeowner. Not all homeowners are trying to sell at the highest dollar amount. Some homeowners have other needs that aren't just money. They might need to move for a very specific reason and they need to do that in a very short amount of time. So if I can align my value with theirs, meaning if I can actually help provide value to their need, which is moving fast, then I might be able to get that deal at a discount rather than having to pay full price for it. Now, wholesaling is great because you don't actually need any money or credit to get going. You simply need to be the best marketer and salesperson you possibly can. Now, here's where it gets interesting, especially for those that are a little bit more seasoned or have done a couple wholesale deals themselves. Once you start getting some money under your belt and some deal flow, you can start leveraging that money into rehab flipping. 
The rehab flips are actually where you can make a much larger dollar amount, even though at times I am doing it 20,000, 30,000 or 40,000 dollar wholesale fee. Rehab flips, I try to make sure I'm doing at least 40,000 dollars on a rehab flip. One of my most recent rehab flips is actually a mobile home. So not only can you focus on single family homes or condos or townhomes, you also can focus on mobile homes. Now there's a couple other rules to mobile homes that you want to abide by, but you can absolutely flip mobile homes. So now we're starting to talk about building some real cash, right? If you're in the game and you're wholesaling properties and getting in front of a lot of sellers through a multitude of marketing streams, whether it's cold calling, direct mail, PPC, text messaging, door knocking, or otherwise, you can wholesale these homes. You're collecting five, 10, 15, 20, 30 grand per wholesale deal. And now you take that money and you actually start to go after bigger checks by flipping properties. Well, now you're flipping properties and, and hopefully you're actually making 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $80,000 per flip or more. I have many students who are doing well above that. In fact, I just had a student testimonial who I put on my Instagram page. He did $122,000 profit on one single flip. And that was not a multi-million dollar home. It was actually in North Carolina. So I will tell you, there are levels to this. Now, once you start flipping and you start collecting some bigger checks, this is where the wealth building happens. This is why I call it wholesaling to wealth, because you can start taking that money and putting it in to a rental portfolio. I myself am buying anywhere from two to four homes every single month in my rental portfolio, but I'm simultaneously wholesaling 10 to 20 deals a month in five different states in seven different cities. Now, why this is so important is because we all should be in the game of building wealth. While it's incredibly nice and advantageous to make a lot of money and it buys you great, amazing, nice things and allows you to go on vacation and all that other good stuff, ultimately we want to stop working. While we wholesale and flip for the cash, which can earn us the vacation and the nice things, we are still in a job of sorts. Once you start accumulating enough rental properties, you start to build wealth. And at some point that wealth can get large enough that you no longer need to be in that job of wholesaling and rehabbing. You can be retired, you can be on a boat somewhere, I like to say, or you get the choice if you want to continue to wholesale or rehab. Building wealth really buys you options because you get mailbox money. The last video I just did talking about, you know, investing in REITs, the idea there is to get a, a consistent check every single month, whether you are working or not. And again, to get into the industry, I encourage you to start wholesaling. Now, as you wholesale, you can build up the capital, you can start flipping. And as you start winning and doing great at flipping, you can start taking that money and buying rentals. Now, here's the deal. As I've just mentioned, I'm in five different states and seven different cities, and that continues to grow. So what I would tell you is you don't have to be doing any of this in your own backyard if you don't want to. I'm wholesaling in all five different states in these seven different cities. And in fact, I'm actually buying my rental portfolio in Oklahoma as a moment in time. I'm now also looking into other middle America states and cities like Des Moines, Iowa, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, and many others because the rental return is better. My return on investment is better. So as you start to grow and as you start to grow your wholesale business and have opportunities in different locations, you will find areas that have a better return when it comes to actually building wealth. Now, when it comes to flipping, I like to have my hands a little bit more on that as I'm dealing with contractors and the more there are more variables. But as I am burring, B-R-R-R, -R, buy, rehab, rent, refinance all of my rentals, I'm effectively also rehabbing these homes virtually. What I would tell all of you is you can do all of this in your own backyard, in your own market, or you can actually do this virtually in any market in America. Now again, if you want a little bit more guidance on how to get started doing this, how to wholesale your way to wealth, what systems to run, what you should be doing, the tools, the strategies, go to thescienceofflipping.com and fill out the application. One of my success advisors will reach out to you. I will feel out whether I'm a good fit for you and you're a good fit for me. 
and we can have that conversation. Also, if you have not yet subscribed or smashed the like button, I'd really appreciate you to do so. Also make sure the notification button is on so you get notified when I drop my videos. I hope this finds you guys well. Real estate has been a game changer. It financially can create an income that you have never seen before. And at the same time, you can start building wealth that we all want to live the life that you want. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Peace.